I'm dreaming in dreams bigger than me. Taking my time, giving to me. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So this last weekend, I have quite a bit to show you. Um, there are only two pieces that I actually purchased out of all of this. So yeah, feeling very loved, feeling very spoiled. Um, oh, sorry, they're playing. Um, anyway, Hagrid's trying to get Grace to play with him. And she's has, up until now, has not been cooperating. So anyway, if you hear any noises, that's them. Okay, so, um, so I wanted to show you what um, goodies I did get this past weekend. And like I said, um, my best friend gifted me like a ton. And I was super excited it's, um, about that. Actually, no, I fib. I got two things on the day that uh, my bestie and I went shopping and then I got one thing when Roger and I went to the flea market and and then we picked up one thing at an auction so that's that um but I'm gonna go ahead and just start with um I'm gonna show you these cute little things because they go with another piece if you've seen any of my other videos you will have seen the Am I boring you? Sorry. Um, my home coat clock, this one. And Roger got this for me at the shop. At the time, um, a friend of ours had come across one of those Starburst mid-century clocks, and I was kind of tempted. But then my house, initially, I really kind of wanted to go with kind of a vintage vibe for the house. Um, but I always go back to milk glass. And that's just really kind of where my love is. So anyway, when we saw this at the shop, I really decided that this was going to be um, what I was going to go with because it matches what I have. And even though it's not glass, um, it's awesome and it looks great hanging. I did see some glass, um, like milk glass clocks, but they were actually made from a milk glass plate or a platter. I don't know that I have the stones required to purposefully destroy one of my plates. So, yeah. And I'm sure Fenton probably did come up with a clock at some point. It's not in my collection, but this is, and I love this. And it's not so heavy that I have to find the strongest stud in our house to, you know, hang it from. So, love this. Um, but anyway, so he'd gotten that for me a few months ago. Well, while we were at the rink, um, I found these. And actually, I think the one that noticed them was actually my best friend. And so my bestie noticed them, and then I was like, oh my gosh, because they match my clock. And so I will show you. There's two butterflies, and these go on the wall, and then these two little baskets. And so I got these with the intention that I'm going to hang my clock above our TV and then hang these um, around it. I think it'll be super cute. I got the little the basket with the handle, the vase, and then of course the butterflies. And they are the hobnail. Love these. And of course, if you've seen any of the Fenton milk glass vases or anything like that, or their baskets, you totally get where they were going with this. So I love these. And they are gonna look so cute around the clock. And they are home coat, of course. I mean, look how cute that is. I just think it really does kind of complement the whole, the whole thing. So, super excited for that. Um, and they were not like expensive at all. So, very glad to have found those. Let's set those over here. The other piece that I got at the rink was this one. And it's very similar to a basket that I have. It has like the geometric pattern to it. Um, it is not marked. If I can figure out who the maker was, I think I know, but I don't want to stay and be wrong. So I'm going to wait and um, I'll add the name like I usually do 
down below. Usually I'm adding notes to the bottoms of my videos to correct myself when I'm having a brain fart moment. Um, sorry, I have to do my due diligence. Jenny is playing fetch with her oingo boing. All right, so got this. Love this piece. It's gorgeous. I have a thing for baskets. I don't even know why. But I love this piece. And I think it could be because it's getting close to Easter, maybe. But love this. So excited. Um, okay. So these are the pieces that my best friend brought to me that I was like, Ooh. very excited. Um, Westmoreland candlestick holder, panel grape, stunning, of course. Love this. It's so cute. And they have a specific name for these, but I can't think of what it is right now. I'll have to remember. Um, This super cute. Of course, anchor hawking. Yep. Isn't that cute. Just like a little mini casserole dish. It's so cute. It's like a casserole for one. I love that. These are some of my favorite pieces. And I have a few, if you see right there. Um, they are anchor hawking, and I believe it's called colonial. Or like old colony. I'll put that in there also because you know nothing up there so I have this piece so cute I love these I saw a thing recently in like a craft room where they had like hung earrings off of them and another one where it was like an art thing and they had like pencils put around it and I was like that is such a cute idea so if I ever get the craft room of my dreams you're going to see a lot of this stuff all over the place. Be warned. Um, a bowl, because you can never have enough serving bowls. Am I right? Um, sorry. Gotta throw the thing. Um, okay, so there's that. Then there's two of these, and these are actually so heavy. And I think these are actually. No, nope, they might be the same size as the one I have over there. But they're actually a lot heavier than you would think. And so when she brought them in and I picked up the bag, I was like, holy cow. These are for my bestie. Are those gorgeous? Love those. Love, 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 love. And... And then I have the smaller bowls that go in here also. And I'd seen a thing on, I think it was on Pinterest. Um, if I find any of those pins, I might chuck them in here also. And they're from Pinterest if you see them. Um, because they're so cute. But they use like the small one and they have them stacked up like a tiered thing. And then they have like little craft supplies or makeup or you know whatever in them super cute i love that idea okay last thing from fire king anchor hawking is this vase and actually i didn't even have this vase how crazy is that but it's kind of that skim milk color so love that and of course it's got the grapes and the grape leaves i like the grapes i know a lot of people don't like the grapes but there's plenty of milk glass that is not a grape, so find what you like. Um, and then she brought me this piece also. I can't remember who made this one. It's not marked. I have a couple of these ones over there. Let me see in the cabinet. That one behind me right there. Love these. They're planters. You put like a pot. They could put like a frog. See, it has like a little space in here where you would put your glass frog, and then you put your arrangement super cute they thought of everything um but yeah i like that so cute and then i mean if you you know you can always stick candy in them if that's your thing whatever you do you um another vase i do have one other like this one and it's holding my wedding bouquet in my china cabinet over there 
I just love this. I just think it's such a pretty um, design and it does not have a mark on it. It has a number, it says six, if that does anything for you. All right, so there's that. Um, oh, and then these two. Everything always swings in my house. So these are, of course, Indiana glass. Isn't that awesome? I love these. So I have two different, like, this would be awesome for, like, a big bouquet of, like, sunflowers. Because those are my favorite. And then this would be awesome for, like, I could just envision, like, hydrangeas. And maybe some lilies in this one. So pretty. Love that. They're gorgeous. I love vases. And if you've been with me for a while, you probably remember the video where I talked about how I didn't have any vases at all, which I thought was really strange. And then in like a matter of like a weekend, I had like 30 vases. It was bizarre. <laughs> like literally you throw it out there to the universe and the next thing you know, they're multiplying like gremlins after midnight. Um, let's see. So that was everything that Crystal brought to me. So thank you so much, Becky. I love them. And then she and I went out together on Friday. And that's when I got um, the home co pieces and the basket. And she picked up these for me while we were out and about. We went to this. Um, so it's in kind of like old town or downtown Oklahoma City kind of. I guess Old Town? I don't know. It's not too far from like the stockyards and stuff. But anyway, and it's the old um, public market, I guess. And so they have like a section that's like antique. And uh, I probably should have filmed in there. And I had thought about it, but then I was hanging out with my best friend and I was just kind of like enjoying the moment. So I didn't bother to record. But I'll probably have to go back with Roger and record. But anyway, so we found a couple of things. Their prices were just this side of stupid not gonna lie and I am very particular about what I add to my collection at this point because I have so much and the prices I'm willing to pay uh, and it sounds kind of like like I'm snotty it's just not it's just it's milk glass and it's not like it's something that is super rare to find now there are rare pieces and if it's a rare piece I'm probably willing to pay a little more but for common everyday pieces I'm just not and there's no need to. So we went in and uh, yeah, their prices were like, oh, wow. Roger has quite a good collection of uranium glass at this point. And one of the pieces that he has is it's an Indian chief, Native American chief, toothpick holder. And they wanted $75 for the same piece that he probably paid Two or three bucks for so it's hard when you deal in antiques and vintage items and you're always out and about looking for pieces for the shop or for for ebay or for whatever you're doing and you come across pieces it's really really hard to then go into a shop and pay full retail for something it's just it's painful Especially when you know that you can look up that same piece and see what it's selling for online and it's literally a third of that price. But because they're in a shop and rent is high or because they feel like they're sitting on a diamond mine, they're going to, you know, jack the price up. So it's kind of like, eh. but they had done that with their milk glass also is my point. Am I getting there slowly but surely? Anyway, they had done that with a lot of their prices and I was just kind of like, wow. And every time I go into a place and I see really high prices on anything, like milk glass especially, I always tell Roger, oh my God, we're sitting on a diamond mine. My collection's worth a small fortune. And it just makes me giggle. But anyway, I digress. So we found this. It was only one piece. It's Westmoreland. And it's not panel grape. Um, I want to say, it's something called Harvest Heart, something like that. But I think it's super cute. It's got the apples and the pears and the grapes. There are grapes. Um, and like some little cherries or something. I don't know. From this angle, they kind of look a little bit like a rutabaga. But love that. Super cute. And it's just a little creamer. Or no, this I guess would be the sugar. Look how cute that is. So cute. Little sugar bowl. 
And it's not like it's super big. It's like tiny. It's so adorable. And then they did have a salt and pepper. And I'm always on the lookout for salt and peppers because I want the good top ones. And these actually have a decent top on them. And then I can read it. Oh, this one's, so this one's the pepper. This one's the salt. Um, I'd actually probably flip the lids because you should never put that much salt on anything. But um, so those are cute. And if I were to guess, I'd probably say these were like Hazel Atlas or Inca Hawking just because of the, the quality of the glass or kind of that skim milk. And voila. Another Westmoreland basket because I need another basket. Like I need a whole lid. Super cute. So Crystal picked these up for me while we were there. And super cute. That little basket was like $5. The salt and pepper was five, and then I think this was just a couple dollars. So very cute. Love those. Love, love, love. Um, so then on Saturday, Roger and I hit a couple of the state sales, and we ended up at Mary's Flea Market. If you're from Oklahoma, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you're not, Google. Um, but anyway, so... We had gone to one of the places that we go to all the time, and he usually has milk glass in some capacity. And this was the only piece that I grabbed. Um, it was so filthy. I can't even begin to tell you how dirty it was. And I was kind of worried because it was that dirty. And sometimes I feel like, you know, Will it stain? Will it be okay? I kind of hope for the best. But anyway, so I washed it up. And look at how gorgeous this is. And it did come clean. I did not have this compote. So I was pretty excited about that. It was just a couple bucks. Is it marked? It is not marked. Um, I would almost think Fenton, but I'm not going to assume. But it's so pretty. love this piece. So... It's gorgeous. And again, I haven't looked any of these up. I mean, some of them I already I knew, but I haven't looked up some of the other ones. So when I find them, I'll put them in the description as I do. The last piece I have to show you from this is, oh, it's so pretty. And so a friend of ours was having a live auction. And um, anyway, she had seen this piece and she knew that I would like it. So she, of course, mentioned me, and of course, I had to get it. Ta-da! So this is the Kemple pitcher. And it's in one of their Tex patterns, whether it's Voltec, Toltec, or whatever. Um, because you know how they are. Isn't that gorgeous? Love this piece. So this is the piece that kept coming up. And I'm going to show you this other one. So this is the one that I got from Crystal a few weeks ago that I showed you. And my bestie got it for me. And she paid a buck for this one at a garage sale. And so every time I looked up this one, this is the one that kept coming up. And I was like, that's not it because the base is different. So this is the one that Crystal got for me. And that I absolutely love. This is the Toltec Kempel piece. I mean, you can see how similar they are. I mean, they're just, they're crazy similar, but I love these. And vases are incredible. I use them on my counters to hold utensils. They're great for vases. Clearly, I have enough vases, so I don't need to use a pitcher as a vase. But um, they're super cute. I love them to pieces. And um, I mean, even this one, like the size of it would be awesome, like in my bathroom, for like hairbrushes and combs and that sort of thing into. Um, you know, for like some of the smaller ones, like I have like the smaller little pitcher. Those are great for makeup brushes. I mean, there's just so many things that you can do with milk glass. It's incredible to use it to decorate your house, to use your pieces, people. They don't just have to collect dust. I mean, I'm sure that's an awesome use for milk glass too, but they don't have to. Um, but I do, I love these pieces so much. So very, very cute always very useful you know for whatever this one's nice and heavy and sturdy so i think this would be awesome to put like you know i guess like utensils or whatever into 
but I do love my milk glass. So that was my haul for this weekend. Um, thank you to my bestie for all the beautiful pieces that got added this week. Do I know where I'm putting them all? Mm, nope, not a clue because I have literally run out of room. So um, I told my husband we need to convert the one shelf in the office into just milk glass overflow because I have so much. And until I can get my cabinets organized and straightened out and figure out what I'm doing, and I can't even get to those ones over there because that bloody treadmill that my husband said I wasn't going to use, and fortuitous, I have not used, um, it's still over there. I mean, it needs to be fixed. It doesn't run right now, but mm, am I going to use it even after it's fixed? Being honest, probably not. So I need to do some of that. Um, so I need access to those cabinets over there because I need to rearrange all that stuff too. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure it will be a blast. Um, but that is all I have for you guys today as far as milk glass is concerned. So thank you guys so much for being here. As always, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. It means the world to me. Love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. If you um, enjoy these videos, please let me know down below. And as always, collect what you love, love what you collect. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Bye. I'm dreaming in dreams bigger than me. Taking my time.